Hey, Ma, I can go to Larry's house for the weekend. You clean that room up? Yes. You took that dog out? Yes. Did you do your homework? Yes. I also washed the dishes. I put the clothes in the washer. I also took the other clothes out the washer and put them in the dryer. Took the ones that was in the dryer and hung them up. You sound like you got an attitude. I don't got no attitude. Butt on me. Man, man, watch out. Dang. Well, I got some more stuff for you to do. I need the oil changed to my car. I need you to change the oil. Change the oil? I don't even know how to do that. Take that chicken out the freezer, let it thaw, and then fry it. Make sure you season it first. And don't just dump all the seasoning in one spot, spread it around. I need you to put together that bed frame that's been sitting in your sister's room for months. Okay? Man, she getting on my nerves, I swear to God. You need to call your auntie and wish her a happy birthday. You didn't call her last week. She waiting on you. Man, she ain't waiting on me. Can't stand you. I can't stand you. And I need you to iron all my work clothes for next week. Dang, Ma, that's going to take all weekend to do. That's the point. Why don't you just be real with me? Be what? Be real. What that mean? Be real about not wanting me to go to one of my friend's house. Every time I bring up one of my friend's house, you come up with this whole laundry list of stuff. Stuff I don't never even hear about until I say I want to go to one of my friend's house. If you don't want me to go to my friend's house, just say it. Bro. Ow, man. Oh, I can't wait till I move out of here, bruh. What you said? Say it again.